Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Ashwood Asylum. I'm kidding, you think I'm going to play Ashwood Asylum? I can't do that. I can't do that, we've done it too much. We've had, uh, we've had too much Ashwood Asylum. Let's pick a different map. There's a lot of maps, I avoid most of them because they suck though. I should get new ones. It's one we haven't done in a while. It's one we haven't done in a while. We haven't done Monster Ball in a while. I haven't done Cramps' Lair, Manor, I don't know if we've ever done Manor, Aperture, I don't really want to do Aperture though. Containment Station maybe? You think? Biotics Lab? Yeah, Biotics Lab, let's do, we haven't done Biotics Lab in a little while, let's do Biotics Lab. It's like such a big decision for me when I pick the uh, the first map of the day, and then I let the random take over for the second one, and it usually gives me Ashwood Asylum. And uh, sometimes I just I don't want to do that, you know. It's a stressful decision to make. I have to think about a lot of things as I'm going over the uh, the map that I choose, but uh, sometimes it's worth it, you know. I don't know why I stress out over it so much, but I do. I really do. That uh, that first map that I pick every day, I uh, I spend uh, probably a good minute or two thinking about uh, which one to play. Just kind of thinking, you know, what maps have we played on recently, and you know, uh, trying trying to keep up the variety and like what maps do I already have a thumbnail for, and like do I have to make a thumbnail for this one if I play it? Do I like that map? I can't remember. Am I going to be uh, upset if I'm on this map? Am I going to be tilted? Are we going to be winning? Is this going to be like a hard map? Do I have to prepare myself for this? Like a lot of things go into choosing the map, you know. The behind the scenes you don't get to see. Biotics Lab is a nice map. I enjoy this one. It's good. It's good. This is one of the first maps I played in KF2 way back in the day. Back in the uh, the closed beta. I still remember. Uh, I, had a, I had a team that I played with back then. We played on uh, suicidal. Hans was the only uh, the boss back then. And uh, we, we had a lot of trouble with him at first. Just like he was a really tough fight back then. I don't know if they've nerfed him or if we've just gotten better. Um, but I had, a, uh, I had a team that I played on. We remarked about this uh, this thing over here. We, we got the, the like gore all over the place and it was... Like we were still experiencing the game for the first time back then, you know. It was a magical moment. A magical moment. We tried out, uh, you know, different strategies for camping, welding doors, and kind of experimented and played around. It was a good time. It was a good time. I don't play with any of them anymore. They were, uh, they were fairly good friends of mine for probably a week or two, and then the uh, the beta popped off. You know, no more beta. We didn't uh, we didn't really talk. I didn't buy the game for a little while and. I'm not sure if they're still talking or not, you know, if any of them stayed together, but uh, I definitely haven't stayed with them. I don't really miss them either. It was, uh, they were good times that we had playing together, but uh, ultimately, you know, we didn't really, really talk about anything outside of the game. I didn't know any of their names or anything like that. I, uh, I'd, I'd consider them to be uh, fairly good friends within the confines of, of, uh, of Killing Floor 2, you know, but within uh, sort of just life in general. I, I'd consider them to be at best acquaintances, I per perhaps, maybe? I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not sure. They, they definitely were people I enjoyed getting uh, getting along with. I looked forward to playing the game with them and, yeah, you know, trying out new things and new perks and classes and all that. Leveling up the perks and it was, uh, it was good fun, but it's gone now. Now I don't play with anybody. Now I don't play with anybody. Just by myself. I had a lot of requests from viewers to play. A lot of requests from viewers to play. But uh, all y'all all play on console. <laughs> None of you are on PC. I'd play with you if you were. I would. I, I'd do it. I wouldn't. Uh, we wouldn't be in a voice call, but I'd, uh, I'd play with you. But... Uh, I mean, I don't think we'd be in a voice call. Probably not. That's that's more of a, a me thing than a you thing. Um, it's not me, it's you. 
No, but I just uh, I have a certain sort of quality that I like to maintain from the the audio perspective. That uh, I'm not sure that uh, that you guys would be able to to live up to it. It's not necessarily either, just the quality of the microphone. It's it's more about the um, the commentary and the the pacing, the cadence, and and all of this. You know, this is a character that I've kind of refined and grown over time. And to uh, to introduce something else into it like that, without without having any practical benefit to it, is is just a a scary thought. Although at the same time, I don't particularly care about this channel either, so. It doesn't really matter, <laughs> but that's okay. Just for uh, just just for me, I don't uh, I don't like I don't I don't like playing with. Uh... Why did I go up this way? This this was a terrible decision. I could I could have told you it was a terrible decision from the moment I stepped on it? Okay. Um, I just I don't like playing with uh, other people in voice. You know, I, I like my commentary to be about me. Well, not necessarily about me, but I like the commentary to be made up of me. And inviting other people on is, uh, is a scary thought. Uh, is a scary process. There's a lot of vetting that has to be done. There's, uh, there's, there's, you know, vetting, and I have to like go over the commentary afterwards, and clean stuff up, make sure the audio is balanced, and, and all this kind of stuff. And it's just, uh, it's a time-consuming process that I'm not necessarily prepared for. But if you were on PC, I'd definitely play with you. You just you wouldn't make it into your voice wouldn't make it into a video. I'm deeply sorry if you were looking forward to that. One day perhaps cross compatibility will come. My voice is like burned at this point. I don't know why, but <clears throat> um, one one day uh, cross compatibility may, may come. KF3 might have cross compatibility. I think uh, KF3 definitely will. Actually, I think that's confirmed, which will be pretty cool. Anyway, Minecraft, the Minecraft series. I'm really excited about it, honestly. The uh, the Minecraft series over on the main channel. I uh, I'm mostly excited, honestly, for like three years from now, when it's much more developed. Cause I spent probably eh, four or five hours last night building a uh, a tunnel, and uh, I'm like, yeah, so this is. A fraction of the base like just a, a tiny minuscule fraction of what the base will be eventually you know like four years down the, the line of just like these tunnels you know like there's, there's gonna be other things too but just of this tunnel it's like just a, a fraction a tiny little fraction of uh, of the end goal and the end goal, I think, something that uh, that I've come up with. You'll have to go watch the videos to, to see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, but uh, can't give away too much. But the end goal is something that uh, that I'm super, super excited for. I'm, I'm really actually pleased with uh, sort of the concept I've come up with for this base. I like to, uh, when I when I make a base in a game, in a Minecraft, Terraria, um, you know, whatever, I, I, I typically like to have a, a concept, you know, some kind of an idea that... Uh, that's in mind um, when I'm when I'm building it, right? Like uh, you know, they had uh, limited materials, so they just built whatever they could. They could, and, and there's going to be sort of like a mismatch of blocks. There might not always be consistency, and uh, you know, kind of make it work. You know, put in put in some kind of restrictions because uh, you know, restricting yourself kind of uh, inspires creativity. I feel anyway, and uh, a lot of people agree with me for sure. Um, so I I, I, I I like to add in uh, in restrictions and, and themes and and stuff and think about like you know hey so so who's building this why are they building it why is it here what's what's it for you know like all of these things think about the the backstory of uh, the thing that I'm building so that I can build something that uh, has some degree of cohesion to it looks cool you know all that and then uh, Have you checked your ammo? go ahead and build it so. and it's uh, it's always fun for me when I do that just because I get to kind of develop the story in my head about uh, the people who lived here and who built this or, or whatever 
but I'm excited for, for a few years down the line when, when I've got a lot more done to be able to kind of like see it and show it off. Because I think it's going to be one of the coolest things I've ever built in Minecraft. I thought that was the matriarch for a moment and I'm like, what the heck? You walked through a wall! I think it's going to be one of the coolest things I've ever built in uh, in Minecraft and I'm, I'm really excited for it to come to life, but... Uh, I, I had a realization last night that it, it, it's not coming to life anytime soon. There is an enormous amount of work that has to go into uh, to making this still. Just an, an enormous amount of work. And, uh, you know, it's, it's fun work. I enjoy it to a certain extent anyway. But, uh... It's, uh... It's, it's a lot of work. Just, just from a, a pure time perspective, you know, there's... There's not enough time for me to get done this year, you know. So I, I look forward to to when it is done, when I've when I've had the time to to get more done. I look forward to honestly like a month from now even to see what we do, because because a lot will have been done by then too. I don't look forward to it if uh, if the YouTube thing doesn't work out and I can't make a living on it, because then it has to go. <laughs> you know, like the the Minecraft series, it takes up a lot of time. Like I said, I spent four or five hours last night working on this tunnel. I didn't get any recording done. <laughs> there was no recording done there. I recorded nothing last night. It, it was just a tunnel that I wanted to build because like it'll have to get built eventually but like there's no content there. You know? Like we already had the tunnel. I'm like yeah I'm gonna continue building this. There's four or five hours for like two seconds in the video. It, ta it takes a lot of time and I also have the Serenity SMP which is gonna be not as much work. I plan to have uh possibly a modded series going at some point it's just uh, it, it takes a lot of time and if I'm not making money through it then I have to have a job and there's absolutely no way I can have a job and, and also do that at the same time so I have this uh, this fear for sure because I am so excited about it and I love it so much that uh, you know if it doesn't work out then I'm gonna be really sad but you know all the only only thing I can do is try right only thing I can do is try I don't need I don't need much. I, I think I've talked about it before. I only need like 600 USD a month to be able to to like be like, yep, I can live on my own. That's that's enough for me to not have to get a job, you know. Um. So it, it's it's reasonable to to, to kind of expect that, you know. I think I think with uh, a few thousand subscribers, I'd be able to kind of hit that. Maybe like. Five to, to ten thousand subscribers, I might be able to hit that with uh, with a Patreon, perhaps. Um, but uh, it does kind of it scares me, you know, because I'm having so much fun with it. The KF2 series, I've, I've said it time and time again. This series ain't going nowhere. There, there ain't nothing that's going to take this away from me. But the other channel is entirely dependent on it being a a career eventually. Just, just, uh, they, they, again, the amount of time that I invest in it is just far too much for there to be a chance of me doing it while I have to have a job. So I, I do get scared of that when I think about these, uh, these, like, like long-term goals. Like, yeah, three years from now, it's going to be sick. Like, the videos three years from now are going to be so awesome. I'm going to be, like, so excited to make them. And there's this thought in the back of my head, like, yeah, but if you don't, like, make it work, then you ain't going to be doing that three years from now because, like, you just won't have the time. And I'm like, yeah. That's a good point, me. <laughs> you, you raised a good point. That's a terrifying thought. Don't, uh, don't, don't remind me. But uh, it is, it is scary. And uh, there's not much I can do about it, you know. I think, I think I'll be a successful though. I have confidence. I'm having a good time. I'm making good content. I think anyway. Um, you know, I, I, th I think that ultimately, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be off to, to a good start here. I am definitely going to be starting to make uh, some Terraria stuff. Well, I, I say, I'm not going to say definitely, but I, I do... I am start... I am... Currently, my uh, my plan is to, uh, to to make some Terraria content. Now, I don't know if it'll work out necessarily, because, like... Uh, it's, it's, again, it's a time investment, and... Uh, it's something I haven't done before, like making guides and stuff like that, or, or tutorial style content. Um, but somebody on Reddit today was asking about how they can make this. They they showed a picture of their like money farm, and uh, were asking for tips. And I'm like, 
I really just want to like explain that. I really just want to like go into the specifics. I ended up writing like this essay on it basically, and it was it was really really fun to uh, to explain all the concepts and all the mechanics and you know how you can improve it and what kinds of things are important and how it all works and uh, you know to to kind of go over all of that and and explain it all. It was really really fun, and I'm like, yeah, I want to make videos like this. Like I want to do this. Like that's that was a lot of fun, but. Uh, the issue is that making a video on it is a lot harder than, like, writing an essay on it. Um, just because <laughs> you have to... You have to write the essay, but then you also have to put a video around it, you know? Um, so it, it takes a lot more time, it takes a lot more work. I'm not sure if I'm able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm able to do it well enough that it'll do it, like, be worth making, you know what I mean? But I do want to do it, so I'm, I'm definitely going to be... Thinking of, I am, I am definitely thinking about making the Terraria series, and if I do, I think it'll be a really good series too for the channel. I think that, uh, I don't think the Terraria YouTube community is too saturated, and I think that uh, having this kind of technical, you know, dumbed down kind of uh, channel would uh, would fit into a very good unfulfilled niche within the uh, the Terraria YouTube community currently um, so I think I think it's a good idea for me to do it for sure for the channel and I want to do it so that's like even better you know so it's 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 in the it's it's a, it's a plan of mine at this point I'm not gonna be doing it you know just yet we got uh, yeah, so I've got to get uh, caught up on the Serenity videos still. We got Christmas Eve tomorrow, then Christmas Day, Boxing Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and then like you know the early January when I'm like, do I really want to be doing anything in early? Do I want to be like launching YouTube stuff in early January? Probably not. Um, January is kind of a bad month for for YouTube. Um, but then you know maybe maybe I do because I want it to be as close to the 1.4 hype as possible, which is like dead at this point but at the same time like do it <laughs> especially before like consoles get 1.4 because they're still waiting on it so there is still there is still some degree of hype around 1.4 you know it would be uh I, I would be remiss if I didn't at least try it's something I want to do and it's something I know would be good for the channel so but uh yeah, I just I look forward to it, you know? And it scares me, but I, uh, I'm excited. One way or the other, I'm having fun. That's really what matters at the end of the day, right? I'm gonna, you know, whatever happens, I'm gonna be trying to keep as much of the YouTube stuff going as I can. Um, you know, if I can keep a Minecraft series going or something, like, I will try. And, uh, if I can, um... You know, keep Terraria series going. I'll try, and if I can keep this going, if I can keep, or you know, if I can keep streaming or whatever, like, like I want to keep as much content sort of being made as possible because I love doing it. You know, like the reason I'm doing it isn't money. I'm just hoping I, I can get enough money to justify doing it as much as I'm doing it. But like, it's not it's not the motivator. It's the excuse. You know, I don't I don't know what to to say about that really, but. Um, you know, my money isn't the motivator, it's it's just the uh, um, enabler, I guess. Um, come on, dude, don't, 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 don't. Come on, come on. Um, so I don't know, I'd, I'd love to, to make it a job someday. I just I don't know if I will, you know? Again, I don't need much, though. I don't need much. I think it's uh, I think it's a reasonable goal to have. I've been uh, been trying to look into other ways that I could make money um, that don't take a lot of time. I have uh, I have a few marketable skills like I'm uh, yeah I'm I'm a fast typist. I, I type at about 150 words per minute. <laughs> you know um, I type accurately. Um, you know some so maybe I could get into some kind of. Uh, transcribing service or something like that and make enough money to survive um, I have an okay quality microphone maybe I could I could get into doing some commissioned voiceovers for stuff perhaps not not super expensive stuff but but maybe get a little bit of income there 
Um, you know, I'm, I'm okay at programming. Maybe I could get a couple of uh, of requests for, for some of that stuff, or, or maybe make a, a, a marketable product or something. Like, I, I have skills that uh, could get me a you know a wage far better than minimum wage, right? Like, like I, ha I have uh, I have I have talents. Well, not, not talents so much, but like skills, the things that I've worked on and, and refined over my life, you know. And I've, I've been trying to think of ways that I can maybe uh, turn those into income as well, so that I, I could spend less time than if I were to have you know a job and uh, and make the same amount of money, you know. Especially since if I were to be doing those, maybe it'd be online, I'd be getting paid in USD instead of Canadian, which is like helping to close that gap, you know? Money, anyone? Um, but it's, uh, it's hard to find stuff like that, you know? If you've been doing it for a while, or if you know what you want or whatever, like you can do it, but when you haven't been doing it, like getting into transcribing is kind of hard and... You know, getting into voiceovers is a little bit tricky. My microphone's not that great, so, like, how much would you really be paying for it? Not too much. I and, mean, like, how many people are going to be requesting from me? And it's, like, there's, there's a whole bunch of things. But I would, uh... My, my goal is to never give up on YouTube. Is, is the That's the ultimate goal, right? Is for this YouTube thing to last forever. And for me to somehow not have to get a job. So that I can continue doing the YouTube thing forever. But, uh... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I am having a lot of fun with the Minecraft series, though. I'm really, like, the, the that I'm so glad I took on the Minecraft. Honestly, I, I'm so, so happy about it, because I'm having a lot of fun with it. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.